Well, most people know that Grameen Bank is practically synonymous with micro-lending. Fewer people know that there's also Grameen Kalyan, which is referring to the health arm of Grameen. And this Grameen Kalyan, Grameen Health, focuses on providing health care to the rural areas. I'm very pleased to be speaking this morning with Imamu Sultan, Imam. who oversees a lot of the health operations in Bangladesh in the rural areas. Now, Mr. Sultan, in terms of what Grameen Health is doing, can you really address uh, some of the challenges that health care in general has in the rural areas of Bangladesh? Okay, uh, basically Grameen Bank work in the health in many dimensions. One, we are running from Grameen Kullan, 53 rural health centers. This is in the com uh, community, within the community in the rural area. Uh, we are operating to eye hospitals, which is in the urban area, but we are co covering rural people also through organizing camp. We send the team in the rural area to run this, operate this camp, and we bring the poor people to our hospitals, and do, we do operation, sometimes subsidized, sometimes free of cost, if they are unable to pay the money. At the same time, we started uh, to create a nursing college, which is a plan that Bangladesh has severe scarcity of nurses. We have three doctor, one nurses like this, mm -hmm. just opposite of the uh, World Health Organizations that they used to say, uh, one doctor should have three nurses. So mm -hmm. we have the opposite scenario. So we thought that we need these people to run. And we are facing major challenge of retention of uh, health professionals, the doctors and the paramedics in the rural area for a long time. Mm -hmm. So that is Why also is that? Why is there th such a shortage? Okay, this is uh, the government active, uh, government institutions, there is legal restrictions of institution, there are private but quality is not well, then the nursing profession is not well recognized or well uh, placed in Bangladesh. So that could be one of the region and uh, there is also a kind of attitude among the people that basically in Bangladesh nurses to come from the uh, very poor family mm -hmm. yes. uh, who cannot afford, who have no access to other education. Because so they could, uh, the attitude is they don't is. really want the yes, women uh, yes, in this kind of women, work. Yes, right. Uh, right. Mm -hmm. So that's why. So we thought that as we are suffering from retention of doctors and uh, health practitioners, we thought that why not we bring the people from the rural area, we train them and we use them. Why not? Uh -huh. So that's how we created a nursing college. First nursing college, you met yes, with Barbara. Of course. She is the, she is the um, principal of that nursing college. The whole idea to bring her over there, we want a very international standard nursing college. Mm. Uh, so mm -hmm. that we want to change the attitude of the people that nurse could be placed in very good position. So that's why we want to work on that. Aspect. And we begin with bringing Grameen Bank borrowers, kids, because this is in yes. second generation, third right. generation. So we thought to bring these girls and educate them in the nursing and give them the opportunity to join with us in the health sector. Yes. And, uh, and the response yeah, sounds yeah, like it's been uh, yeah, quite yeah, good. Sir. And because as they're from the rural area, they know that their commitment in the rural society, so maybe they, they can work. Yes. Uh, go back to the village. And we are, we are not res restricting them because they are paying money for their uh -huh. education. If they want to go abroad, we have no problem. Mm -hmm. If they want to work with us, no problem. Uh, and we will produce more and more nurses. So that uh, definitely will find many people to stay with us. Well, because how are these programs financed, Mr. Saipan? Okay. This is uh, actually, these girls will pay their money, mm -hmm. their, their tuition fee. And it is very high cost, like other private university charging, we are charging almost the same prices. Oh, and but the families uh, can't afford that? No, family cannot afford that. So we decided that Grameen Bank will provide loan to them because Grameen Bank has education loan program. So Grameen Bank will provide loan to them. And we said to repay the loan, we will assure the job. Grameen Health will assure job for you. Oh. So immediately after your mm -hmm. graduation, you join with us, you get the job, and you do the job, repay your money. Yes. Then you have many other options. You mm -hmm. can go to the 
uh, international market, you can go to the other big organization hospitals, so you can earn money, you can money. And can this, and can this system uh, be sustained uh, solely uh, by doing it this way? I think initially we need a kind of support to, to, to start up. But gradually, it will be run on a sustainable basis, and it will be a social business. So, in social business terms, which Professor Yunus uh, yes. decided, that it is a kind of investment which the investor will not take back the benefit of the business. Just they will take out their investment on that after a certain period. Mm -hmm. And the whatever profit come, it will uh, reinvest it, reutilize for this expansion of the program. Okay. So what is your vision for what this will become and grow into in the future? Okay. In, in all, all Grameen Bank program, all Grameen Bank health program, like from primary health care center to the nursing college to the eye hospitals or whatever hospital we will develop in future, all will be sustainable, will run on sustainable. This is our main vision. As it is operating yeah, now. Yeah, yes. If, uh, span of, within a span of time, as like other business, it will be sustainable. And the profit will remain over there. We are not going to make, uh, maximize the profit because mm -hmm. uh, this is not our uh, intention to earn more and more money. We can do that. We can charge higher like other but, private organizations. Mm -hmm. No, we said that it should be affordable. Yes. Affordable and sustainable. This, is, this will be the main goal two of the of two this. goals of this. Uh, mm -hmm. or, or I see. Uh, and do you believe that you also need some international support for this going forward? Yes, for create this type of organization. Because I am actually I'm not uh, long time working in the health. Just it is my four year, four four Fourth years year? running, mm -hmm. running in the healthcare service. And what we realize that uh, if we developed a um, healthcare services famous like Grameen Bank, or if we uh, want to reach our goal, we did a com comprehensive healthcare program. Uh, and if you see the all successful institution, they have the comp comprehensive program, so that the integrated program to make it good. So we are looking for, that's why we are planning, the, as we are unable to retention, uh, retaining doctors, we thought to go for a medical university or medical college so that we can develop our people, we can open the door for them so that they can uh, study here, they can job here. And if you find that there will be a dropout, the doctors will go outside, not work with us, we can, like we can recruit 10 doctor, uh, 10 uh, from the very poor family. Mm -hmm. And we yeah. can say that you need not to pay money for us, you just work, we will pay money, and you will study here five years, and you will work with us five years to repay our money back. Mm -hmm. And you will get your salary as it is, whatever. So there are many ways, ways and means we can do it, but we need to develop this institution. And you know, to develop this institution, mm -hmm. we need huge investment on that. Uh, now we are working for creation and uh, establishing a medical, uh, sorry, uh, the medical university. Yes. And for medical university, we need a hospital, yes. tertiary level hospital. So, yes. Um, so this is, uh, if well. we want to develop, we bought the land, we are looking for funding. Mm -hmm. If we could raise the fund. Funding from here. where? Okay, we are searching the source who are interested, to whom we can pursue, we are looking for. Okay. Uh, we are now negotiating with it. Uh, and it is not only funding, we need some uh, type of support as we get from the Glasgow Caledonian, Caledonian they send Barbara to help us to create a very quality and standard mm -hmm. institution. We are looking for other universities can send their faculties for time being. Mm -hmm. They can, uh, we can communicate through internet, the long distance education mm -hmm. for them. That's how we can uh, take support from people, Point many people. Right. Yeah. Okay, yeah. Mr. Saldham, yeah. thank you so much thank for stopping you. by. Thank you. For, <laughs> thank you very much. Okay. I'm Mabel Jong. You're watching coverage of the 8th Annual World Healthcare Congress in Washington, D.C.